New details tonight. A death in a Cameron County jail. An investigation is underway. Channel 5 Cecilia Gutierrez tells us this case brings back memories of another inmate who died at the same detention center back in 2007. The woman I spoke to is the sister of Ernesto Perez Jr. He died as an inmate at the Garisales Rucker Detention Center in 2008. It's been more than 10 years, but the sting of losing Yolanda Perez Pilgrim's little brother is back. I still filed everything away in, uh, in a file under his name. Ernesto Perez, called Ernie by the ones who loved him most, was an inmate at the Garisales Rucker Detention Center in Brownsville in 2008. Ernie was honestly an amazing person. He was very giving. Um, he was just, he was our brother and he, he was, uh, out of all of us, he was the one that, out of all the brothers, he definitely the one that had the big heart. He was put in jail for failure to pay child support. Ernie would never make it home. It was horrific. My brother was getting ready to get out. Betty's Pilgrim tells us Ernie died of head trauma. You have to remember, we were shocked. Like, we could not believe that this was happening. She says the recent events of an inmate dying while in custody of the Garisales Rucker Detention Center is bringing back bad memories. We literally have physically exhausted ourselves mentally and physically trying to bring justice to, to my brother. Cameron County Sheriff Omar Lucio says the inmate who died yesterday is named Gabriel Agulo Rivera. They uh, took him to the hospital. He became a little bit erratic over there upset so they send him back then he continued to get sick so then they, they try to take him over there you know Rivetta was brought into the detention center last week the last time that they brought him in here was in march of 21st 2019 for child support dwi and failure to appear he says the case is under investigation by another agency Justice of the Peace Jonathan Gracia released the authorization for medical examination report. In the report, it says Rebetta died yesterday morning at Valley Regional Medical Center. It also lists the circumstances surrounding his death. Under that section, it says Mr. Rebetta appeared to have suffered several head traumas which led to cardiac arrest. I don't know the cause and we will know it probably for another few days or weeks. Lucio says because there is an incident in the detention center, the case has to go to a separate entity. Under the state laws and the Texas Commission on Jail Standards, when anything happens, something like that in the jail, we have to call an outside agency. But we normally call the Texas Rangers. An autopsy of Rivetta's body was ordered. Because this case is still under investigation, we weren't given any more details at this time. You can count on Channel 5 News to keep you updated on the very latest. In Cameron County, Cecilia Gutierrez, Channel 5 News at 6.